want to talk to you about the yips. Now, I refer to the yips as fast twitch muscles, but basically what they are is this. When you get to where you're hitting a putt, somehow the brain doesn't communicate properly with the hands and the putter head actually starts to twist as you get into the, into the, the, the striking of the ball and the putter face actually opens or closes and the ball goes in a variety of different ways. And I want to give you a couple of different ideas to help you get through this thing. The first one is uh, taking the left hand and going low with the left hand. Now, the, the idea is if the left hand gets low, it can actually act more as a, a pulling motion. Many people have talked through time about the left hand leading or pulling through there. And once you get into the left hand low, it actually invites that situation. It might be an idea that you want to try. The idea nowadays that's really become very popular is what's called the claw or the saw. And what you do with that is you take the, the middle finger of your, of your right hand and you set it on the, on the shaft with the shaft of the golf club, the grip of the golf club, riding right through the crotch between the thumb and the index finger. What ends up happening when you do that is because you're not actually holding on or grasping that putter, the putter has a tendency to just swing. And since all you're really trying to do is just push that shaft with that crotch, by keeping the back of the palm moving parallel to the target line, the putter face tends to stay pretty square and the ball actually kind of goes where you're looking. What has happened over time is people have actually gone into creating different length putters. This putter here is called the belly putter, and really it's, it's become very, very effective. A lot of people that, that play golf for a living actually have, have gone to this style putter, and it's been very successful. And it does a, a couple of things that are really important. The first one is, is that by centering the putter shaft into your belly, you actually are going to be more consistent with the distance that you are away from the golf ball. So because this putter is not going to change, and hopefully you're not going to change from day to day, you're going to actually set into this thing fairly consistently. And then what will end up happening is this. You can actually use whatever grip that you want to use. Whether you decide that you want to use this with the left hand low, or you want to use this with the right hand low, or the saw, whatever it is that you want to do to try to allow you to swing this putter freely, we'll go ahead and do it. I'm a huge fan of whatever it takes to get the golf ball to go into the hole, well, that's what you do. And if this is going to be the avenue that you take to be successful in your putting by going to this belly putter, then I think that's fine. Now, the other putter that has gained a lot of, uh, um, uh, a lot of people have, have decided that they want to go to it um, is the long putter. And a lot of people have gone to it because they've had bad backs or bad knees or whatever it is that, that you need to, to, to overcome, this long putter can help you. And it's really very easy to use. What you're going to do is you're going to take your left hand and you're going to hold it such that the thumb is on top of the grip. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to press this against your chest. And when you press it against your chest, you've actually centered the putter again against your body. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to allow the right hand to make to make the putting stroke, and it becomes a, a one-arm stroke. What ends up happening, many people think that the, the reason why people have the yips is because the left hand and the right hand are working against each other during the putting stroke. And what needs to happen is, is that you need to just use one hand only. And so by going to the long putter, what ends up happening is, is that you've you, you invite the right hand to, to be the only thing that's creating the, the, the movement of the putter head. Whether you decide to go with a claw or whether you want to go right hand just with it kind of in between the two fingers or whatever it is that you have to do to let this putter swing freely, well, that's what you would do. Now, what I would suggest is I would suggest just going right to the claw right away. And the reason why I think that's really important is rather than changing your equipment or doing something along those lines, if you just take the, the, the putter and employ the claw, I think what you're going to find is, is that you're going to have some success right away. As I mentioned before, that's the, the, the way that I have had the most success with my students without going to some type of a, of a different length putter. And I think that that's the way that you're going to find the most success. What I would also encourage you to do is this. Go see your local PGA professional. 
he or she will assist you with going through this process of overcoming this yip situation or this fast twitch muscle situation and allow you to start to play the game you know with enjoyment so that when you get on the green you don't really get into that situation where you have nervous energy and you don't really know how or feel comfortable enough to get that ball to go into the hole so what i would tell you is go see your local pga professional and i'm sure that he or she can help you in this situation